Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Bitcoin. If you see anything in my comments about Bitcoin, yesterday it was a lot of it. So just know it's not me. They using my picture and my name. It is not me. It's a scam. Please do not fall for it. The thousand dollar giveaway is coming up very soon. We're just shy of 200 subscribers in order to get to the 100,000 subscriber mark. And that's when we're going to give the money away. So please stay tuned for that. And it shouldn't be, but like, it could even be today. It could be tomorrow. It's that close. You have to be subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe to the channel. I will check it. Okay, y'all, let's get into this. It is starting to look very good for the fourth stimulus check. Let's talk about this. 80 members of Congress is saying a fourth stimulus check is needed. Seven of those members that say we need a stimulus check they are part of the House Ways and Means Committee. They're the ones spearheading all of this. And they're, they're all agreeing that we do need the four stimulus check. Last month, this committee wrote a letter to President Biden urging him to include a four stimulus check. That's when President Biden told them if they wanted a forced stimulus check, it's up to them to put it in the bill and get the bill to him and he will sign it. Y'all, President Biden is all for the forced stimulus check, but he can't put it in there. They have to put it in and get it to him to sign. He says he will sign it. What looks bad though here is out of all the stimulus checks that was sent out last time, 1.2 million of them has not been cashed yet. And the lawmakers may be looking at this as an indication that a fourth stimulus check is not needed. So I'm urging everyone, if you still have your stimulus check, cash it. You don't have to spend it if you don't want to, just cash it. The lawmakers are still saying the last stimulus check was not needed because people either invested it or they put it in a savings account. Y'all, I went over this a month or so ago. I'm going to go over it again. It's called Money 101. Money is no good until it's spent. Money is just a piece of paper until it's spent. Now that could be spending it on goods that you need, goods that you want. It's your money. You spend it the way you want to. It's nobody's business what you spend your stimulus check for. That's 100% your money. But now people are complaining that they're, they don't need it and they're putting it in the savings account. They're investing in it. It don't matter what you do with this money. If you spend it, you're creating income for that store. You're creating jobs for their workers. And it all creates more tax revenue. And that's what the checks are for. To stimulate the economy and make more tax revenue. That's what it's doing. Now, if you don't spend it, if you put it in the bank in a savings account, that money don't just sit there in the bank. They use that money to lend out to other people. Other people takes out loans to buy a car. Okay, the car dealership is getting paid. Their salespeople are getting paid. The manufacturer is getting paid. Creating tax money, big tax money. If you invest it, the broker is getting paid. The big shots on Wall Street are getting paid. The companies that you invest in are getting paid, creating more tax dollars. 
So see, it don't matter what you do with your stimulus check. It all helps the economy. But people don't understand that. The lawmakers of all people don't understand saving money creates money. Investing money creates money. Spending money any way you see fit creates money. That's money 101. They should know this. Y'all, I, I get this. I really do get it. A lot of people don't need the stimulus check. I, for one, don't need a stimulus check, and I will not be getting one. But there's a lot of people out there, millions and millions of people out there that desperately need one just to pay their rent, just to buy groceries, just to get a ride to the doctor. I mean, these people are desperate. They need this help. And if they base this off of the people that don't need a stimulus check, they're doing it wrong because there's tens of millions of people out there that needs it badly and will not survive without it. President Biden, he is ready for them to vote on this first part of the bill, the infrastructure part. So then they can focus on the second part, which is the American Families Plan. He is ready for them to vote and get started on the next phase. Y'all, the American Families Plan can't move any further without passing the infrastructure bill. So President Biden wants them to vote on it now and get it done so we can move on. But of course, they're dragging their feet as normal. We all know that Social Security, SSI, SSDI, NVA is hurting. They just can't get ahead. Hell, they can't even pay for today, much less get ahead and put something back for savings, that's out of the question for most of these people that's on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and VA. It's out of the question for them. But if they would just hurry up and get this first part passed and get it to the president, he can sign off on it and get it done. Then they can move on to the American Families Plan where they can actually help the people. That first part of the bill, the infrastructure bill, yeah, that's going to create jobs, but it's it's not going to really help the pocketbooks right now. Ain't nothing going to help the pocketbooks right now except stimulus checks, a raise for Social Security, and extending the unemployment. And that's where the second part of it comes in, the American Families Plan. That's what they're going to be doing there. So let's hurry up and get there. Why they didn't do this part first is beyond me. But maybe soon they will get it done. They have to get it done before they go out on break because once they come back from recess, they call it, they got to work on the budget plan. Addresses and phone numbers. Y'all, please get those addresses and phone numbers and let your voices be heard. If you don't want to let your voices be heard, then sit back and take whatever they give you. Don't complain. Just say thank you very much when they don't give you anything. I had a lady today. She commented. Well, it was yesterday. I'm sorry. She commented, make them do something, Walter. I'm just one person. I can't make them do anything. I replied to this lady as, did you write the letter? Did you make the phone call? I mean, I didn't say this to her, but I was thinking it. And now I'm going to say it out loud. If you didn't write the letter, if you didn't make the phone call, don't complain. You have no room to complain. Let your voices be heard or be quiet. The address is in, in the description box below. Get them, write those letters, make one letter and photocopy it and send it to all the lawmakers. All their personal ad all their individual addresses to their offices is in the box below. Also, the phone numbers to their each office is 
in the box below. Burn their phone lines up. Comments. Please comment in my comment section. Please be hard in my comments. I don't want people just to praise me or tell me good jobs. I want them to really blast these lawmakers out of the water in my comments section. I mean, one day somebody might see it and it might do some good. Y'all keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this. We just have to have the faith. And I have the faith. I hope you do too. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for the world. Say a prayer for our leaders. Say a prayer for everyone hurting through COVID, through financial hardship, or any other affliction around the world. The whole world needs a healing. Jesus Christ is the only one that can help us with that. And if we all ask him, he will do it. Just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.